All right, hi everyone. So today I'm going to talk to you about the lab kit that you're going to have for EECS 1011. So we're going to do an unboxing video here. It'll come in a box like this. Inside you'll find the Grove Beginner Kit for Arduino in a little cardboard box. Be careful with this box as you open it. Um, I like to use a, a sharp knife to open it uh, along where the stickers are. There are three stickers. And um, be careful so that you don't break the side of the box because it's well reusable and there are little cables hidden inside the side compartments there so if you if you force open the box you won't be able to close it again so be careful while you're opening it all right so there's a little slot that you can you can cut it took me a little while to get it open just because i didn't want to break it but uh, once you do open it you'll see that there's a circuit board inside and there's sets of cables on both ends all right. It's designed to be used inside its box. It's attached to the to the box using the, the white spacers in the four corners. And here you'll see there's a built-in uh, little cabinet with a little USB cable in it. You don't need to use that one. We gave you a better one in the kit. Um, that's the blue one that you see right here in the video. Okay, this one's longer. All right. And so I plug it in. It's a micro USB port there. And you have to plug it into your computer. Uh, either directly, it's a USB-A, or through a hub. It'll light up. You'll see a green power light right there by the yellow standoffs. And if you press the button in the bottom left corner, you'll see the red LED in the upper left corner turn on because there's a program running on the board when it comes out of the box. All right. There's also a light sensor in the upper right corner and it displays a value on the organic LED, the OLED, that's on the uh, center part on the left-hand side of the board. So if I turn off lights, as you see right here, the light value that's displayed on the OLED will change, it'll lower, it'll go smaller. All right, you can see right here. There's the OLED right there. It says it's got a value of somewhere around 50 when it's dark out. And when I turn on the lights, it goes up to about 750. All right, so you have uh, some buttons on here. You have some LEDs. You have a little display as well. We won't use the display with MATLAB. We'll use it with Java in the next uh, course. But, uh, but just so you know, it's there. All right, we'll be using other features on the board this semester. All right, so we know the... Uh, the light sensor works. We know that the button and the little LED works. We know that it receives power. These are all good things. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some of the other parts in your lab kit. This right here is a MOSFET board. It's basically an electronic switch and we'll be using that with the water pump that's in your uh, kit. There's also some extra Grove cable wires. This is one set right here and uh, we can plug it into those white terminals that are found throughout the board. Now you have to be careful because some of these cables have little um, locks on them, little plastic locks that you have to rotate in order to get them off the board. They lock in place. All right, we also have some screwdrivers. Okay, um, it's the flathead screwdriver that we're primarily gonna use. And we have a moisture sensor for detecting moisture in the dirt that your plants are in. All right, so here we can plug in the cable and there's a little snap fitting on it to hold it in place. And then later on in the semester, you'll plug it into the board itself. We'll show you how to do that later, okay? Remember when you're taking it off, you wanna take that little lock off by rotating it, okay? Pressing it down with your finger. Don't just pull straight out, you gotta be careful. All right, so I'm putting stuff away. Now I'm gonna show you, you're gonna have a battery uh, adapter, either a nine volt one or a double A one. In this case, I have the double A adapter for powering the MOSFET board, but uh, in most other kits, you will see a nine volt adapter. Okay, and I'll show that to you in a second. All right, here's the MOSFET board. We're going to connect up power to it from the batteries, okay? So if you've got the nine volt adapter, this is what it looks like. It's got uh, little um, bare wires on one end. Okay, you may have a variation on this, uh, but it's basically the idea is that you take the bare wire and you screw it in 
to the terminal by first unscrewing the terminal. So opening up the hole in there, putting the wire in, and then screwing it in the opposite direction to pinch it in place. And you can see it holds nicely. Okay, always try the pull test afterwards. We're also gonna be connecting up the uh, pump. Okay, the pump comes with a barbed end that you attach your, your tubing to. That's where the water will be exiting. And there should be a barrel jack in there. Now, if you don't have a barrel jack, we'll talk about that later. But the idea is that barrel jack has to connect to the MOSFET board and you should have a barrel jack to a bare wire adapter as well in your kit. I'm gonna show you what it looked like in last year's kit uh, because I don't have that barrel jack adapter handy. Okay, basically it's some wires that you screw into the other end of the MOSFET board. Okay, it's the other screw terminal pair. So you take those wires and you're gonna plug them into the other screw terminals on the other side of the MOSFET board by first loosening the screw terminal by opening up the little holes there. And then you insert the wire and you turn it in the opposite direction to tighten them and pinch them in place. Okay, so that's all screwed in and, and nice tightly fitted. Then finally, you add your battery. So if you've got the AA adapter, then you're gonna add in AA batteries. If you have the nine volt one, then you're going to connect up your nine volt battery, okay, to the MOSFET board. And then finally, when you're ready, you'll connect up the uh, Grove connector to your MOSFET board, and then you're gonna connect it up later in the semester to the main board. And there you have it, your lab kit. Mm -hmm.